In local news this week, Audubon Park held its monthly council meeting on Tuesday, January 18th. Mayor and Borough Council discussed doing a study on speed bumps to see if they are feasible in the borough of Audubon Park. They also examined the possibility of upgrading their financial software. But the big news was the trickle-down effect of the Camden City layoffs and their impact on suburban towns. The borough of Audubon Park has a shared services agreement with the City of Camden for document imaging. Mayor and Borough Council discussed how the layoffs of the records manager for the city of Camden would affect the borough of Audubon Park shared service. They also passed resolutions authorizing payment of claims and authorized the engineer to advertise for bids for the recreation area. In sports, Haddon Township Hawks defeated Haddonfield by a score of 42-21. to TV19 Plus sports reporter Mark Narducci interviewed Haddon Township senior Katie Getzinger and coach Tom Mulligan after the game. Back here, Mark Narducci with Coach Tom Mulligan and Katie Getzinger, who had an outstanding game, not just with the eight points, but 12 rebounds and great defense. Katie, tell me, you held this team to 21 points. How much do you work on defense, and how, how key is that? Um, we work Defense is what we do every day in practice. It's, it's how we start our offense, pretty much. We always work on helping the helper and making sure we don't lose our girls in transition and always calling out screens. It's, it's everything. And I thought you did a great job because you were guarding Brogan a lot and you were not allowing her to post up. Was that kind of your strategy coming in? Yeah, we weren't going to let her get anything on the low block tonight and try and keep her from any limiting any jump shots at all. Well, they did a great job with that. And, and uh, Coach Tom Mulligan, uh, I would think now uh, coming into the season 9-1, and one, you have to be pleased, especially how you're playing on the defensive end this year. I think um, I, I really am. In, in a lot of ways, I, I try to preach to the kids that it really matters where you finish a lot at the end of the year, and I think that's one key in March if you can get it done in the, in the half court that time of year. And, uh, and like I said earlier, I'm lucky that with the kids we have, they buy into it, and, and, they, and they buy into understanding the big picture on the defensive end. And, uh, and, and I'm lucky. I'm lucky as a coach. They just have such an overall high basketball IQ, this group, and, uh, and it, it, they make it look easy, but it's a, it is a lot of work. It certainly is, and a very, very impressive show. The replay of this game will be telecast on TV19 Plus beginning Friday and continue through next week. Check our on-screen program guide right here on TV19 Plus for times and dates. And upcoming as part of our 20 game plus winter sports telecast, we'll be presenting the Haddonfield Haddon Heights girls basketball game played on Thursday and the upcoming wrestling match between Haddon Township and Haddon Heights. High school sports has returned to Channel 19. Well, the weather is making news and there is more snow in the upcoming forecast. Several of our local towns have posted announcements here asking residents not to park on the street during snowfalls. However, in some towns, no parking is mandatory and your car could be ticketed and towed. Check with your local municipality for more details. Speaking of the weather, we'd like to remind you that the TV19 Plus weather is zip code specific, and that means it's the weather for this immediate area. Each time the weather screen appears, it downloads the latest weather data from the U.S. Weather Bureau. You don't have to sit through a weather forecast for the Shore, Pennsylvania, or Delaware to get the weather conditions in your town. They're right here on TV19 Plus and updated constantly. That's our report for today. Tune in daily for the latest local news, updated as events unfold in your town.